Hundreds of thousands of people are taking to the streets this Tuesday to protest the French government's pension reform plan. And many argue that this reform will greatly disadvantage women. And even a French President Emmanuel Macron's cabinet seems to agree with this statement. Frank Riester, uh, who's the Minister of Parliamentary Relations, even admitted that women will be penalized by the increase of the retirement age from 62 to 64. And this has caused quite a bit of uproar, with many slamming the bill as unfair, especially towards women. So what's behind these claims and is it true? First of all, let's get down to the basics. Every worker in France can currently retire at 62. This age will be gradually increased to 64 with Macron's pension reform plan. But that doesn't mean that if you retire at 64 that you will receive your full rate pension. Most of the people uh, will have to wait until they're 67 to receive their full rate or uh, will have to have worked 43 years in total. Women are currently disadvantaged because they tend to retire later than men uh, and they also have lower pensions approximately 40 percent less than men in france and increasing the retirement age will mean that many women uh, will not be able to leave their jobs until much later and without getting the full rate compared to men according to economist elena basoli one of the reasons is that we know that women tend to have more discontinuities in their careers in the sense that when they have their first child they tend to stay more years out of the labor force or they take more uh, family leave or parental leave and so for them staying uh, even two more years in the labor market so if the retirement age increase of up to two more years and also having to have more years of contribution up to 43 years as we know the new rule will be it will be very hard at the end of their careers that means that women for example born in 1972 will have to work nine additional months compared to only five months for men born the same year and women born in 1980 will have to work eight more months while men only four and according to Elena Basoli, this will also negatively impact women working in different sectors. If we think about careers such as being a nurse, of being a teacher, or being uh, in the cleaning services, which usually are the type of jobs uh, where women are there, uh, again, these type of uh, jobs could be very hard at the end of their careers. And so staying one or two more years in this uh, type of career could have a negative impact, for example, in the health of the, of the person. Emmanuel Macron's government has hailed this pension reform plan as fair and necessary. But according to experts that we've talked to here in the Cube, they've said that raising the retirement age will only increase inequalities.